Piedmont Triad. We're in the upper 30s in the foothills and we're in the low 30s in the mountains. In fact, we're still at freezing in the high country in some of those spots and it feels a little bit colder, of course, because we've got some wind blowing out there from time to time and that makes the wind chill feel uncomfortable. But for the most part, our winds are fairly calm and they'll stay that way as we head through the next couple of hours. We'll get into the low 50s this afternoon for the Piedmont Triad as we're headed towards spring, which officially starts at 524. While we're starting off the season, sunny and calm with cool temperatures, cooler than normal for the first day of spring, but overall not too uncomfortable and uh, quiet overall for the afternoon. Here's a look at the foothills. Now we've got high fire danger throughout our forecast area, but sunny skies and cool temperatures. And then by 9 p.m. we're already down back into the 30s. As we look towards the mountains by 9 p.m. we are already in the mid 30s and getting below freezing before we even cross over to midnight. So of course we've got those cold temperatures once more headed into Tuesday morning with those freeze warnings in effect. But then after that, we'll start to see an improvement. I want to let you know that we're not seeing an improvement with fire danger. In fact, it's gotten a little bit worse today. Now the Piedmont Triad has joined the foothills in the mountains at a high fire danger once more. That rain that we had overnight Friday into Saturday dropped the Piedmont Triad down to a moderate fire danger. But now we are back to high. As we look towards tomorrow, the foothills actually go another step higher to very high fire danger. The reasons for this are that our air is very dry. And even though we've had some rain recently, the rain totals that we've gotten have actually been on the lower side. In fact, that rain Friday into Saturday for most was only about a tenth of an inch, so it's still pretty dry out there overall. As we look towards the mountains, staying at a high fire danger, not elevating to very high for Tuesday, but we could see conditions get worse before we start to get some rain in the picture late week. Here's a look at our morning low temperatures, though. This is getting better. We've got 39 degrees on Wednesday, 48 on Thursday and 58 on Friday. These are our overnight temperatures, our morning temperatures, so our afternoon start to look pretty pleasant by the end of the week. Today is again the first day of spring. Sunrise was at 7.23 a.m. Sunset at 7.30. So we've got 12 hours and 7 minutes of daylight today. That feels really nice. So even though we are on the cooler side with temperatures in the 50s, at least we've got all that sunshine that always makes such a huge difference and those winds being calm also makes a huge difference. Yesterday was cool as well. We only made it into the mid 40s, which is almost 20 degrees below normal. But the good news is that as we head into spring here and end the month of March, start the month of April, we are expecting warmer than normal temperatures through the end of this week and then into next week as well. So things are getting better for us and normal for us is pretty comfortable already by the time we get to spring. So that'll feel really nice. The other piece of good news, we are expected to be wetter than normal as we end March and head into April. Lots of folks get their plants in the ground. Perhaps here's a look at the seven day forecast that freeze once more for tomorrow, though. So today is not the day to do it. But then after that, slowly start to improve.